Sure. I'll talk it out. Yeah. Let's just have a conversation. Track three. Better not be fucking Dave Matthews band. Okay. Those of you who don't want to be a part of this can leave now. Derek, please listen to me. But if you choose to stay, which it seems like you guys are choosing. Derek, please. You understand and agree to the following terms and conditions. Derek. One. Derek, this is the virus. You talking. hereby waive your right. Derek, please. To your own personal bodily integrity. This is not you. Two. Per the state versus Neville Reed, my colleague and I will not be held criminally liable for any felony or misdemeanor that you may be a victim of, including, but not limited to, aggravated assault, aggravated battery, disorderly conduct, destruction of property, mayhem, and first degree murder. And three. Terms and conditions may change or be updated whenever the fuck I want! Consider yourselves notified. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. I got news for you, pal. You ain't leading but two things right now. Jack and shit. Jack left town. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. What was that rocket? Uh, what rocket? I was just in my office and I heard a rocket. Describe the rocket, sir. Does this mean we're not friends anymore? I'm in my prime. I'm in my prime. I'm in my prime. Ain't it cool? Everyone! First you want to kill me. Now you want to kiss me. Blow. Good. Bad. I'm the guy with the gun. What up, everyone? DJ Nubis here with you on the Metal Time Radio podcast with a new trailer reaction. Uh, this was brought to my attention by Kevin Lambert of the Entertainment Headquarters. He said I might be interested in checking this out, and he was curious what my thoughts might be. So here I am. Uh, it's a movie called The Substance. Come out this year. I'm not sure when, but definitely this year. Directed by Coralie Farge. Cast consists of Margaret Qualley, Dennis Quaid, and Demi Moore. Plot is, a fading celebrity decides to use a black market drug, a cell-replicating substance that temporarily creates a younger, better version of herself. Hmm, I've never heard that shit before. Already kind of reminds a little bit maybe of like Rabid or uh, Resident Evil, possibly. Um, you know, those are two different... Movies that kind of deal with like, all, even though Rabbit was a little bit more like repairing flesh and stuff. I haven't finished watching the remake. Uh, I was very curious about it. a lot of people didn't like it, but I was watching it early on. It was, it was pretty grotesque. So, I mean, it seemed all right, but I haven't finished it yet. But the first Rabbit was pretty good with Marilyn Chambers. But uh, Resident Evil, the first movie, I did like that a lot. Um, but again, it kind of deals with like beauty and, and stuff like this. So I don't know how much of this is going to kind of reflect that at all. But uh, yeah, so let, let's give it a whirl, man. Let's see what we got here. This is called The Substance. People always ask for something new. It's inevitable. 
At 50? Well, it stops. Have you ever dreamt of a better version of yourself? Younger, more beautiful, more perfect. One single injection unlocks your DNA and will release another version of yourself. This is the substance. I'm Sue, 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 Sue. You're hired. Let's go. A perfect balance of seven days each. The one and only thing not to forget. You are one. You can't escape from yourself. There's been a slight misuse of the substance. <laughs> this balance is not working. Would you like to stop? 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 Like to stop? I'm fine. Everything's fine. You have to cut through yourself! Hold back! People are gonna love that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it definitely has that whole feel of the movies I talked about, like where, you know, women are trying to enrich their beauty, stay young, healthy, and but then the side effects kick in. So, like, the question is, what do we have as a side effect here? Like, they showed for a quick man a fly. Don't know if that's just like a just a, like a weird off end type shot or whatever, but uh, looks interesting. Certainly um, they're really pushing it. This is like the masterpiece or whatever. I always get a little worried when I start saying shit like that. Initially though, it was kind of funny because before I actually said it, I said, I bet you people are going to be like, Oh, this is really going to challenge the beauty standards that people see in real life. So I don't know. Again, if we're going to be dealing with stuff that's going to try preachy or whatever, but it looks like it's having more fun with it rather than being propaganda. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, it looks it looks interesting. Um, look, I love Dennis Quaid. His, his character actually looks very interesting in this. In fact, the cinematography of the trailer, like I like a lot of the shots and the editing that they did uh, in terms of like the visuals and stuff. So that looked kind of cool. Um, I've always liked Debbie Moore as an actress, though. I mean, she hasn't really been in the game, you know, in a while, but obvious reasons. But uh, certainly, uh, I don't know if I'll rush out and see this. I'll, I'll definitely probably wait for it to stream if it even goes to theaters. I'm sure it will. But sometimes movies these days don't even last in the theaters very long before they go to streaming. So we'll see how it goes. But Definitely, I uh, will check that out uh, when I get a chance. So thank you, Mr. Lambert, for the recommendation. I appreciate it. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy this content. And I will see you here again on the Meltdown Radio Podcast. Enjoy the rest of your day, motherfuckers. Just before you die.